a quick drawing uh, actually to separate this horizon line as a sky and the field and this part. I just go with these two lines as a drawing and the rest we will make it by paint. So my paper is nine by 12. I imagine I put here for the sky. So I draw one dental speaker, sorry. Until see care for here. And then this part is a little bit empty, uh, less space here and more space on the right side. So I choose less space here. And, or even let me add more, more space for sky. The sky is so beautiful. I would like to have more. So this is the blue co color of my sky that we need. I keep it here. And make sure we need some uh, light color, actually white color between the blue and the yellow because yellow when mixed with the blue can make a uh, green color. So it's so challenging. We need to make sure not to make our sky greeny. I will let you know how you can do that. And then I will go with the yellow color. It's warm yellow. So I go with cadmium yellow. Bring it here on my palette. And the next part is pinky purpley color. So I go with a lizarding, uh, sorry, permanent rose. I choose permanent rose as a pink. And then another part again with permanent rose. And this time I mix with the blue color because I would like to see purple. So I have ready everything. And then I start with the blue from the top. I will come to the bottom. Left and right, I move my brush very gently on my sky. The top part should be darker. So even you can go with the pure paint. Already our paper is wet and make it Actually, it's reduced the bluey color already. And bring it down. I will come a little bit to the center of the sky that I choose. And then a little darker on top. And it's already wet. So I have napkin on my hand. I try to just add a pressure to lift up some paint to make a cloud. Just you need to shape it as a cloud. And you don't have to rub it because if you rub it, you damage the paper. Just pressure and lift up. I place most of the cloud on the right side of my paper. Blending that happened on our paper. So I don't need to be worried about mixing my yellow and uh, blue. I just keep a little bit of space between them and I clean my brush, I move on with yellow. I just keep a little bit of space and add some stroke with yellow. And then even a little orangey on the bottom part. So just tiny bit orange you can bring into yellow and make here a little warm. Just with the whole brush, move it into right side of your paper. Even you can bring it up and down and make it more interesting. Then please not let it dry with your napkin, 
just as a circle shape of sun, we need to lift up. And then that's fine. For, for um, purple part, <clears throat> I think it, it's okay to start with the pink first. I start with the pink, just one stroke here. And then move to purple on top a little bit. Bring it purple color on top. Sorry. Our purple can be a little bit bluey or reddish. It depends which kind of purple you have or you make. I would like to have a little bit bluey purple. So I go with the blue color. I just move here with hold the brush. If you see, I go with the hold my brush. I don't go with the tip. Tip is just for the details that we need to add. For everything, we will go by hold the brush and move it on our paper very gently. And then clean your brush, let it dry. I don't want to let the sky completely get dry. I would like to bring this movement as a cloud like purpley one. So I switch with a smaller brush and the purple color, but I don't add a lot of water in my paint because it's already the paper is wet. So I go with this, hold the brush again. On top, I try to make some cloudy shape. Hold the brush like that. It's already wet and it's very gently make it. And then with the tip, you can make some line as a, as a cloud like that on top. And with the tip, you can make a little liney like that. Keep some yellow in between, please. And even on yellow part, we have cloud as a purple, but make sure this is the second layer actually, because it's on top of our uh, first layer. So we don't add any water in our purple. We just use the water in the, which is in the paper and it's wet already. I just use hold the brush. And if I need, I go with the line with the tip like that. And you see it's already wet and spread everywhere. So this is a good time to add uh, purple as a cloud on top. Uh, you can add a little blue in your purple even if you like. I go with cobalt blue to make it just a little bit darker tone. Part, but if it's get dry, clean your brush with napkin. Just a bit wet, but it should be completely, completely clean. Then reduce this hard edges around your purple. Move it here and disappear the hard edges on the bottom part even. Very gently and then Move on the other. I, I see some purpley tone here as well. First, I go with this movement and then clean my brush with napkin. And then I try to add a little bit water under this and make it fade into the background. And then leave it like that. The only things that I need to do right now is 
just the sun movement everywhere. So I clean my small brush very well. I don't want to add any water, any color into that. Just clean it very well. And then lift up some paint like that. And have a clean napkin as well. Lift up some paint. Then clean it with napkin. Again, lift up from here. Clean with napkin. You can repeat and repeat to lift up a little bit more. My paper is wet, so I don't want to add a pressure with napkin to help better lift up. For now, I just place it uh, and let everything get dry. If I wasn't happy with it, again, back and lift up some paint and then help napkin to reduce this color. And for here, it's just using like a shape of bushes. And I use the tip of my brush for now. And when the surface is wet, you see what happened? Very nice and gently, they blend into the green color. But I don't cover everything. I just keep this lighter tone as well. And again, back to blue and brown. For these details, I use more tip of my brush, make some interesting movement for my grass. I use the same green that I have and I need the red color. I go with this warm red, which is cadmium red. It doesn't matter. You have yellow in your palette, doesn't matter. 
And in the stance, it's a little orangey, so I prefer to add a little yellow just in one part to have lighter tone as well. And then this. But we don't make it really, really wet. We just go with a little bit of water in it to make it a little shiny. I start with orange tone on top. I start with the orange and the stands very gently. I try to reach the green part. I go with the orange, light orange color. Even if you have orange, you don't have to make red into orange. We need sometimes to brush if you don't want to wash any time with red and orange and then move into green you can keep it with two brush so i go with red and in between with another brush i will bring green color even if your green is dark you can add a little bit yellow in it and make it lighter in between i add some lighter green color as a line like this. With the tip, again, back to your red color. And I can make it more dark by blue. It can be cobalt or ultramarine, and I can make it darker by brown. So this is the green color that I want to have. And for red color, even this is good. Sometimes I need for the stands a little orangey tone as well. So I diluted my, brown, uh, my brush first in orange tone and I laid down my brush to just go with some movement to show that this is the flowers on the stems. See, I just go with a little bit tip of my brush and even lay down my brush as well. I don't make the distance very busy. Because of that, I lay down my brush and I try to make it a little bit like the oval and I don't need dark green for that part. For this sense, I don't need at all. If I want to use the green, I will go by lighter tone. I just need dark green for uh, forward, for front of the painting. I just go with a little bit movement I with light green color in this sense. Here. And back to red color, even the red, it can be pure and heavy.
just go with circle shape a little bit. Separate this part, even it's okay to go with the darker tone. Darker tone, I mean with the reddish brown and alizarin crimson or permanent rose with the red. Make your red darker. It's better to bottom part be a little darker. So another one and then separate another one. Just some of them, not all. Would be interesting to have some separate and then leave it like this with a dark green color. Make like that. Make it the, the stem like this. Bring into the bottom part of your flower when it's wet, it's a good time. And then make some stem here as well. I just go when it's wet to separate them and then you can again fill in between with the red color and with the green color. Mm -hmm. 